Hey, welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. Today we're going to talk about uh, what's, what are the differences between a mega ohm meter and an insulation tester. What's the difference? What is the difference between the two? And I'm gonna give you my I'll give you my answer first. What I've always thought. What was the difference between the two? Uh, a mega ohm meter and insulation tester. Simply, nothing. Uh, they're both used to induce voltage into whatever it is that you're testing, uh, whether it's wires or uh, a motor or something other than that. You 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 you, you know you're doing that. You're doing preventive maintenance on whatever it is that you're testing. And you're seeing if there's any kind of uh, breakdown um, in the wire, the motor, machine, or whatever the device that you that that, that you're testing. And uh, I don't think there's much of a difference, you know. Uh, so that was my take on it, you know. Uh, they're both used to induce uh, voltage for preventive maintenance. Uh, so that's just my take on it. That's just my take on it. Now, I know uh, I did, I Googled it and I find, I found that Fluke has something to say about the difference between uh, insulation tester and a megaohm meter. So I just didn't want to leave it like that, you know, leave it uh, in the hands of Fluke saying that's what it is and that's, that's you know, that's that. So I Googled um, a few more, two more to be exact. And uh, I'll just read and uh, tell you what they say, what's, what's the difference between the two. And after this video is over, I would like to hear you guys through your comments, you telling me what you thought or your opinion about insulation tester and a megaohm meter what's the difference between the two or what you've always thought they were or how they are different or how they're the same, you know? So let me just read what Fluke uh, said the difference is between the two. Okay, now this is what Fluke said off, off the Fluke uh, uh, website. They say, Insulation Tester, the title of this, I'm reading from here, I highlighted Everything here, if you can put a chart down here to tell you what's the difference. Okay, so they say, Flu said, uh, testing insulation resistance is, is a, essential to keeping wires and motors working properly. I knew that already. Mega meters, sometimes called megas, provide a quick and easy way to determine the condition of the insulation on, uh, on wire, generators, and motor windings. A, mo uh, a mega meter is an electric meter that measures very high resistance values by sending a high voltage signal into the object being tested. Typically, however, this is the only function a mega ohm meter performs. You see, while mega ohm, uh, mega -ohm meters are often informally referred to as installation testers, strictly speaking, this is not accurate. Why? What's the difference between a mega meter and an insulation tester? An insulation tester performs the basic measuring functions a mega meter, a mega meter does, and that's measuring very high resistance values by sending a high voltage signal into the object being tested. And it often does much more. It usually performs more functions including more complex testing and recording of measurements. Okay, Fluke goes on to say, what makes an insulation, that was for the megaometer, what I just made, that's what makes the megaometer different. And they say, what makes an insulation test is different for a megaometer, for a megaometer, this is what Fluke says. For example, unlike megaometers, insulation testers can also measure voltage and current. The Fluke 1587 FC insulation, which would be this one, my hand is on, 
The Fluke 1587 FC installation test uh, multimeter, for example, can perform installation tests up to 1,000 volts. Yeah, this one also by AEMC, and that's up to 1,000 volts, and it's called a megon meter. Uh, and say, hold on, and it is a full function digital multimeter. Well, this one don't have all of the um, the well, say full function. This have on the basic right here. Uh, the A E A E M C have on the basic. That's volts AC, volts DC, uh, continuity, resistance, and kilo ohms. This one does uh, continuity and resistance and AC DC voltage. Okay, so. I, they said a Flute 1550 can't, uh, I lost my spot. Okay. They say the Flute 1550C can generate up to 5,000 volts for an installation test, for installation tests. Installation testers can also perform more complex tests, such as compensating for ambient environmental conditions like humidity and temperature during a test to provide information about how motors perform in changing conditions. Because environmental conditions and or chemical contamination accelerates the rate at which insulation degrades, it is critical to compare insulation resistant test results that are correct for different conditions. Well, it's the insulation. Well, this is this, this it's the insulation tester like uh, insulation testers like the Flu 1587, which is this one again, uh, and the Flu 1550C offer another uh, advantage over megometers, memory storage through Fluke Connect. Save measurements to your phone or the cloud. We know about that. That saves time, reduces errors, saves data for historical tracking over time. They say choosing between an installation tester, it says, and megometer depends on your business needs. A meg test may be all you need, but if you want increased power, Convenience, prevention, and safety, and installation tester may be your best choice. Okay, so what they're basically saying there, there's more. I'm gonna get to that in a second uh, from Fluke, and it's, it's, it's a, just a one more uh, little uh, paragraph, uh, a paragraph or two. Uh, but I just want to say this. So, depending on your needs, what they're saying, uh, if you want to record or save data and do PI testing or DAR testing and or what have you, installation test is what you need. If you just want a spot test uh, or something like that, you want to get a, not just this Mega, um, this is one of the lower models of Mega that, you, that doesn't have Bluetooth and doesn't do data logging. So the, I, guess I, will con, I guess I will consider this one a megometer because uh, they say uh, as far as low voltage, or a megometer starts at, let me see, let me try to get it right. Um, okay, well, they're saying, um, I thought I read that somewhere, that like anything up from 250 on up, 250 volts on up, that would be considered more like a megometer, but if it goes from 250 below, that's the insulation side of it. Uh, that, that when it becomes like an ins in insulation tester because 250 is considered high voltage. So I'm wondering if that's what they mean. For example, like this idea over here, it goes all the way to, it starts off from 50 volts up to 1000. So once, you, once it reaches 250, that's when it becomes a megometer. That's what they're telling me. Uh, but no, no, no. That's when it's more like a megometer because it starts at 250. Uh, on up to a thousand, that's when it starts like a megometer. But it has other features because you can record, you can have, you can, you can save data on this one. No, but you can do a DI, a PI test as well as a uh, uh, a DAR. Yeah, but you this do have. No, this one doesn't have it. I thought this one had the 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 the, the, the um, data logging or something. No, that's not it. But anyway, this one can. This this Edge Tech. They have software where you can download um, da data from um, whatever that you're testing. This Fluke, we know it, this one doesn't. This Klein, this will be considered, I, I guess, the same thing. Once it reaches, once you start from 250 on up, it's considered a megometer. 
but when you're using 125 volt, it's considered an insulation tester, but but you don't have DR, LPI testing unless you want to do it manually. You want to lock it in and do a hold it for the minute, or you want to lock it in and hold it for the 10 minutes, to which whatever test you're performing. I really don't see a difference other than just um, the few features that they're talking about. I don't see a difference in that, in none of these things. So let me just finish this up right quick, what Fluke has to say about it. They say the Fluke 1587 FC insulation meter, multimeter for example, can perform insulation tests up to 1,000 volts. We know that, and is and it is a full function uh, digital multimeter. The Fluke 1550C can generate up to 5,000 uh, volts for insulation tests. Insulation testers can also perform more complex tests, such as composite. I think I read this one already. Hold on a minute. Yeah, I did. Oh. Yeah, I read this one already. It looked like they're just saying the same thing. But Fluke's all, Fluke also give you this little chart I'm looking at right here. Let me just, this little chart where it tells you like a Fluke 1587 FC, uh, I guess that would be an insulated, insulation multimeter. And it starts at 50 volts here. But I'm looking at the Mega, Mega 230 and an Etch Tech 380. Uh, 363, 363, they're all starting off at 250. So I guess these would be considered, well, no, it can't because Fluke still have the 1550C starting off at 250 volts. But, uh, you know, they still have it listed under insulation tester because I guess they have all the other features for it, recording data, data and all, whatever. I don't, you know, I don't know because I don't see anything like that. I don't have a 1550C. But anyway, so, but this Mega right here and this Etch Tech uh, may do just basic testing. 250 volts on up to 1,000 and without doing PR, uh, I mean PI, uh, dark testing, and you can't record or, or capture data. Uh, so it's, it's, it's still on, it's, it's, I mean, I, I think it's still the same instrument. Except, like I said, just for the features, if you want to, if that's all it is, they just separate the two, there really is no different. I mean, because <laughs> um, this one does basic multi, aside from them, this one holding data, this one, right, this AEMC, uh, I could do basic measuring with this one also, uh, multimeter, a uh, multimeter, and this one also has the same things, you know, so, and this one too, and this one too, so, and even this one by Hayoki has this, you know, it, it do basic uh, testing, a uh, multimeter uh, function. So, uh, and then also I have another, let me see, I pulled something else up online that, that caught, that catch my attention. This, they asked this, uh, the, this company, I mean, this website is called Bay, B-A-Y-T, and they asked this guy, they say, his name is Munter, Shakbua, okay, he's a design and installation engineer. And they say, he says, there is no difference between installation tester and Megger. The last one, meaning the word Megger, uh, the last one is a brand name for an England company. Megger, that makes sense. Megger. There was the one that first started this 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 um, uh, uh, megometer or, or, or megging or insulation testing, so that's their name, and megometer, right? You know, but they're doing the same thing. So I, it's like tomato tomato, automobile vehicle, uh, a vehicle car means the same thing, but just uh, named different by different companies. That's what I'm that's what I'm getting out of. So that's really no difference between an insulation tester and, uh, you know, it's, it's all in what you call it. Some people call water H2O. You may call it water. Some people call it dirt soil. You know, it's, 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 it's a gimmick, you know, and you go to a, to a flower shop and uh, you, want, you want to buy some uh, dirt for your plant. Well, you know, so you'll feel special. She tell you, well, we don't sell dirt. We sell, we sell soil here with nutrients and you thinking you buying something that's special 
all the while you buying a bag of dirt. You know, it just, so I don't know. It's just what that company called their instrument at the time. So, um, you know, that's, 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 it's one of those things, but it's not much of a difference to me because when I buy either or a megometer or insulation tester, I'm buying it for one person. I mean, for one, uh, buying it for one reason and that to induce voltage into whatever device that I want to test and to, you know, for preventive maintenance and to see what the resistance is. So that's, that's no reason. And what, what Fluke just explained to me, that's just a marketing gimmick, basically, you know, telling you, because half the stuff they said in there was basically telling you, but telling you, uh, well, if you want to record and this and that, and uh, you'll want the Fluke. But as far as the, as far as the, um, uh, the, 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 the inducing, uh, induction of voltage is the same thing. The same thing. It has the same voltage, 250. This has 250 going on up, I mean, you know, and this one and this one and this one and this one. They're just giving you a few more ice cubes in your drink. That's all. Same shot glass. One, I'm giving you a few more ice cubes. That's all. Just to make your drink colder. Okay, man. So, uh, you know, that's... It's no different to me. So I want to hear what you guys have to say about this. Uh, you know, what's your opinion about it? What's the difference or what you always thought a megometer was and uh, the differences between a megometer and the difference and uh, difference between the insulation test. I just want to know, let you guys let me know in the comments what you always thought it was or what you still think it is. Or if I'm wrong or if you want to add on to what Fluke just said, you know, leave your comment. I'm anxious to read what you guys have to say uh, about this one. So, guys, I want to tell you thank you. As always, I appreciate you guys uh, revisiting my channel, leaving comments. And if you feel that this video, uh, this is your first time watching this channel, um, you know, and you think about uh, subscribing, don't subscribe just yet. Just check out some of more of my videos. And if you like it, then, then do uh, then subscribe. And if you feel this video has helped you and it may help somebody else that you know, man, share it. Share it with them and uh, hopefully they'll become subscribers and uh, we're all sharpening each other's iron. So, I wanna, again, I want to tell you guys thank you as always. I really do appreciate you guys uh, letting, stopping by and letting me take up all your time. And uh, with that being said, you guys take care of yourself and again, uh, have a safe new year. I, pr I pray that it be prosperous to you guys. And as always, peace out.